that President Trump didn't ban Muslims in this country. He put the ban on the same six countries that President Obama did, but there was no complaint. And I bring that up just because if we're gonna solve the problems of this country, one that this body, this body, look at it, it's empty. There's two members of Congress in here and they've been complaining, I'm sorry, <laughs> I stand corrected, Madam Speaker, there are three members of Congress. But if we're gonna fix this problem, it's gonna take more than three of us, wouldn't you agree? And, and they sit there and they give great speeches about how it's tearing our country apart, the president's tearing our country apart. What a shame this is, the hatred, the, the vitriol that's coming out of the White House, how people are being taken away from their families and there's no toothbrushes or diapers or they're sleeping on floors. I'm just glad the other side has acknowledged there is a crisis. But for the first half of the year, there wasn't a crisis. They refused to say there was a crisis. We just did a special order here last week. My good colleague, Mr. King was here. We had other members and we had pictures from uh, 2014 when President Obama was here. And it was funny because members of my, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle were railing about the crisis in 2014. There's been times in this body when the Democrats had the majority in the House, the Senate and the White House. And there were times and I was there when the, the Republicans had the same majority, House, Senate and White House. And it saddens me because this talk and discussion about we've got to fix these things, when both parties were in control, they didn't do it. What really saddens me is I see people using political opportunities for their next election. And I heard a lot of that tonight. There were no solutions in that. Um, we talked for an hour last week on the crisis at the border the situation at the border, the atrocities at the border. The drug cartels are profiting from this. We stay as a divided house. I implored President Trump, and I'll do it again tonight, he needs to call Congress back in session when we reconvene tomorrow. And I would do it every time this body goes on a break until we fix our border security and until we come up with an immigration bill and I want to move into what I, I really wanted to talk about. In order to have a, to move forward, we have to have solutions. I've been here for seven years and I've seen comprehensive come up in healthcare. I've seen comprehensive come up in, in um, uh, immigration. And what I have learned is that 